Okay, we're in a slightly cold and a little bit snowy Leeds today. Uh, we've got Helen Jenkins with us, a world champion in 2008. Uh, here giving a masterclass to several competition winners, so welcome Helen. How, how are you keeping and how's your uh, new year been? Um, great, I've had a great new year. It's nice to be home with family and friends. So went away to training camp in Lanzarote just before Christmas, so could relax a little bit over Christmas. And yeah, it's good to be up here in Leeds to do the masterclass and then I'm heading back to Lanzarote for a training camp soon. So hopefully so get out keep, of the snow. Keep away from the snow. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so 2010, you had a pretty pretty good year, moved up again overall in the, in the World Series. How do you sort of evaluate your, your year in 2010? Yeah, I, I was really happy with 2010. I finished at fourth overall in the series. Um, I wasn't so happy with my last race in Budapest because I was, I was seventh and I was in a sprint for kind of between second and ninth. So I think I need to work on the sprint a bit for this year. <laughs> yeah. But overall, the season, like having a high park, having high park and Madrid both as podiums, and then Des Moines as well. I was really, really happy with that. And a good, consistent year. Hopefully. Um, with the good winter's training this year, I can step up again for 2011. 2011, obviously, the main thing this year, we're, we're only 18 months or so away from, from hopefully the Olympics, which will hopefully be at. Um, but obviously this year we've got an opportunity to qualify um, at both London and, and Beijing, so a bit to, I think, top three, uh, or the first Britain top three in either of those races. Um, is that really, obviously, the, the number one goal, but almost the only goal for this year, if you get to the end of the year, and you qualify for the Olympics for that? Represent a good season. Yeah, I mean, qualifying is the big aim for this year. It would be awesome to have it out of the way, you know, qualify for this year. I mean, we've got a really strong British women's team, strong British men's team. I think it's going to be one of the hardest Olympic teams to make out of out of triathlon in all the countries. So, I think that's the aim this year. Try and try and do that. And uh, yeah, it just comes from getting getting the miles in now, really, and, and hopefully. Um, coming out with the good races. Yeah, and you, you mentioned that you've been out in Lanzarote but you're going out again so you're looking forward to, to that in about three weeks uh, in a couple of weeks time is that right? Yeah it's three weeks in Lanzarote so it would be nice just to get some more consistent training and I haven't been out riding much at home so <laughs> yeah. when I'm in Lanzarote I tend to have more emphasis on the bike and when I come back I do a lot of, like, a lot of swimming in my swimming club and um, last year the, myself and Mark were a treadmill for our house which has been so good for this year because it's because of the weather so it's been um, been brilliant to have the treadmill over this winter and I've kept on running up to a good level. Good. And in recent years we've seen you actually managed to race in, in the UK a lot which you know, sometimes it's quite difficult with the World Series, you've been at London Triathlon and bring back and other races. Uh, are any of those going to be able to fit into your schedule again? Are we going to see you racing in, in the UK at all? Yeah I hope so. Well obviously Hyde Park, High Park and obviously. then um, yeah, yeah we see what fits in best with the season really. The next few years are you know, really important so just seeing what fits in best and, and if we can race in the UK it's it's just so nice to do it. I mean I love racing at places like Windsor as well but sometimes they clash with other events so hopefully I can fit in a few races. And, and for you for, for the Olympics and, and you know, fingers crossed hopefully Olympic success and, and, and onto the podium what, what do you think of the or what the areas that you're sort of working on over the next 18 months to, to get you from this the consistent podiums that you've had and to you know, get get one of get one of those elusive medals that we've been searching for for the last three Olympics. Yeah, I mean, that's that's what everyone's aiming for, those Olympic medals. And I think get, getting there is the first step. I mean, we've got a really strong team and, you know, so, so much can go wrong and so, but so much can go right. So hopefully I'll, I'll qualify and, um, yeah, I'll be working on, I think, you know, my swimming and cycling's at a, a strong level, but I want to keep them at a strong level. I don't really want to let them ease off by picking up my running too much. So I need to, yeah, just build that running endurance up, build the but try and get in a bit more running. I haven't done a huge amount of volume over the past few years, so over the next few years it's just trying to get a bit more running volume in and, and um, hopefully seeing where that leaves me, whether it, it, it puts me up there with the top girls. Hopefully get that sprint sorted out. <laughs> yeah. I'll be working on my sprint now. <laughs> cool, well that's, that's Helen Jenkins. Um, so we'll be speaking to Helen, I'm sure, during the year. A uh, very important year for, for British Triathlon, for British triathletes, Helen and, and all of the other top names that you see on the site. So we'll be bringing you all the news through the year.